that Hondum and this is at Aerodactyl. Um, Today we're going to be showing you a continuation of our first video on how to create a deck. Uh, on the first video we talked about um, doing or how many cards you need, uh, what type of cards. We talked about the, the uh, trainer cards being your engine and we talked about somewhat of how many cards you have or you might want. So this continuing off the first clip, um, we will show you the cards we picked and why we picked them. So The cards we picked were out of these two boxes, right? Yes. Here, why don't you open the box and show them how many cards we got. This is my box and that's his box. We took all of our cards, all the good cards that we had, and we built a deck out of all these cards. These are all the booster packs, all the theme deck cards we bought, everything that we've bought and we try to build out of our deck. Okay? So, what did we do first to make our deck? Um, we based off of this card, Toxic Croak EX. Toxic Croak EX. That's the card we started with. That's the one that we wanted to put in our deck. So we basically used that one as our first base card. What's another card that we decided to put in our deck? Hoopa EX. Hoopa EX. We put these two cards in. Number one, because they're EXs and they have good hits. Um, not too good. This Hoopa is not the best Hoopa that we have. We have another hoop. I'm going to ask at Houndoom to take off those two cards. Or at least take off the Toxic Croak for a second. Okay. We're going, to move, we're going to put this other card, this Hoopa card, in there. And as you notice, what do you notice about those two Hoopas at Houndoom? This one can't use Portal Strike, but still it does 130. And um, Hoopa EX, Hypers. Hyperspace Fury, discard two energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. What's the real reason we're putting this Hoopa EX inside because our deck? Because of its ability. What's its ability, Houndoom? It allows you to look for... um. Three EXs in your deck. Okay, so it allows us to look Once for three EXs, down. huh? Once you take it from your hand, hand and put it on your down. bench, huh? So basically, this one is going to allow us, if we get it once or whenever, to find <clears throat> our three EXs. So Toxic Crook is going to be one of our EXs. What's this one that we put in there? Blastoise EX. We put in Blastoise EX. See if you can see it right there. Blastoise EX. Also, another car we put in is Glaceon EX. So those are our three EX cars that we put in. So, Hoopa EX. so, so that this Hoopa EX, we could take all three of those EXs out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you notice something else at Houndoom? What did we what did we just show them? All of our EXs. Are we just using one type of energy in this no. deck? No. We are using water and psychic energy. Oh, we're using water and psychic energy? Yes. Why did we decide to do that? Because we have a lot of water EXs that would work if we had a water deck. But didn't we need some real heavy hitters, some, some cards that made some really heavy hits? Yes. Yes, so we basically decided to use the water type Pokemon, which we only have a couple in here. We have these two, Glaceon and Blastoise EX, and then we also have Gyarados. And those are really heavy hitters on Aqua Tail. What does Aqua Tail do? Um, each water energy attached to this Pokemon, flip a coin, if heads, 10 damage times the number, plus it starts with 90. So 90 plus 10 damage for each water energy attached to it? But you have to flip a coin. Oh. Attack is starting. Okay, well, we still have to flip a coin, but it's still 90, right? That's not that bad. So, the other reason why we chose to put 
a different type of energy with some real heavy hitters, as we call them, in our deck is because we don't really have any cards that are psychic that hit really hard. We have Anita King, and he does some good stuff, doesn't he, Houndoom? Okay, what else do we have? We have a Ghastly in our deck, that based in a Haunter, that he does some good stuff. What does he do? What does the Ghastly do? Hypnosis, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Oh, so we can actually put our Pokemon to sleep. And then Dream Eater. So, if your opponent's active Pokemon is not asleep, this attack is nothing, but if it is asleep, it does 80. Okay, so that's a stall tactic, right? We're basically stalling the opponent so it doesn't, you know, so they can't fight, right? Right. Okay. What about Trevor? We, we chose Trevor because he was, Trevor. he hit pretty hard, doesn't he? What does he do? Ability. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, the attacks of your opponent's basic Pokemon cost one more energy. Wow. Okay, so it costs one more energy if we put him down there, huh? Plus energy press. Um, 70 plus. This attack does 10 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. That's awesome. Okay, so those are the psychic cards we have. We started with the psychic deck, though, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, the last psychic, that's all our psychic cards. Did we put any other water Pokemon in our deck? Um, we had Magikarp. Yeah, we had Magikarp, but he basically makes Gyarados, Gyarados doesn't he? Uh -huh. So we had two Magikarp for our one Gyarados. And the reason why we did that is because we don't want to have not enough Magikarp so we can make our Gyarados, but we want to have enough, right? Okay. So we did that also with Trev... What's his name? Trevenant. Trevenant. See, so we got one Trevenant. And, and then, one Gyarados. No, 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 no. Cards. And then we got two of his basic, right? Just like Gyarados. Just like Gyarados. We got two Magikarps and one Gyarados. Because it's more likely we're going to get one of these two Magikarp and then our Gyarados. Also, same thing right here. We're going to get one of these two, which will make our... Trevenant. Trevenant. Okay. So, the next thing we did is we, we picked our uh, Trevenant. trainers. Actually, we picked our water or our energy. Um, right. This is all the energy. <laughs> um, there is 17. Uh, here's all the energy. How many blue energy do we have? We have... Ten. Ten blue energy? And how many how many psychic energies do we have? Seven. Why did we choose that many energies? I mean, how do we know how many energies to put in our decks? Um, it's just like how you make them. Oh, so how we make them. So basically, we took... For our blue energy, we added up our biggest cards, correct? Yes. So this one takes how many blue energy? Three. How many does this one take? Three. And then how many does Gyarados take? A lot. How much is a lot? Like four or five. So four plus six equals how many energies? Ten. Ten energies. So that's how we chose ten blue energies, right? Or how many do we put in it? Ten. We put in ten? That's how we chose that one. Now, for our psychic Pokemon, we chose our biggest psychic Pokemon cards. So we chose Hoopa, the EX Hoopa, Trevenant, Hunt, Haunter. Uh, we chose Gyarados. not Gyarados because that's with blue energy, right? Nita King. And we had Weezing. Where is Weezing? Oh, no, we took out the Weezing. We took, chose that Hoopa. And how many energy is that? Psychic energy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. 
So, but our biggest cards are going to be this Hoopa, which takes three, and that Hoopa, which takes three. And then the Trevenant, Trevenant and, and Nidoking. We chose those due to the, it, it just, that's what we chose at the time. We haven't played this deck yet, have we? Yet? No, no, we just built we it. We just built it, and it took us about, how long did it take? About an hour? About an hour and a half. Oh, we forgot this one, too. This one, this Toxicrook takes two Psychic Energy. Okay, so that is about energy. We basically based our energy off of what? How many energy it took for each card? Yeah. Okay, so how many energy in total did we have? Seventeen. Seven? Right now we are going to talk about these trainer cards. How many trainer cards do we have, Houndoom? Sixty. No, we don't have sixty trainer cards. Twenty-eight! We have twenty-eight trainer cards. Okay, go on with your first trainer card. Why did we the choose it? The first two trainer mm -hmm. cards that we chose are Repel, because your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their benched Pokemon, but you get to pick it. So if they have a Mega out, they're killing you, you can switch it with a worse card. What happens if they don't have any benched Pokemon? Can you use this card? No. Why not? Because... There's you wouldn't be able to switch. There you go. Okay, so what's the next set of trainer cards we're going to talk about? Torino. Torino. Why do we... I like Torino. Why do we use Torino? They allow us to get three cards. Three cards, and they don't take nothing, right? Are these supporter cards or item cards? Supporter. Can we use two supporter cards in one turn? No. No? Okay. Well, okay. So that was pretty simple. What's the next one <laughs> we're going to use? What's next Episoda. one? Episoda. Episoda. Why do we use this card? It allows us to get the evolution. The evolution of what? <coughs> the evolution of a Pokemon. A Pokemon? Like, in our deck, which Pokemon would we want to evolve? We would want to evolve... Phantom. Phantom? To what? Trevenant. Oh, okay. And that would make that card ten times stronger, right? Yes. Okay. So what's the next type of card we're going to talk about? Healing. Are there two types of healing cards? Yes. What do they do? They heal. Okay, so... How so Pokemon Center Lady heals 60, and you see the two potions, Um, they heal 30. Okay. So. Does the Pokemon Center Lady, is she a support card or an item card? Supporter. So she can you can only use one support card each turn, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what else does the Pokemon Center Lady do? Does she heal the poisons? Yes. Okay, that's cool. What's the next type of trainer cards we're going to talk about? Stall cards. Stall cards? Those are stall cards? Oh, no. No. Cards These are cards that can help us with our deck. Shauna, she's a supporter card, and we chose her because why? Because um, if you have a bad hand, you can shuffle it into your deck. And then you can get five better cards. Oh, really? Okay. What about Lily? This is a new card. I hadn't seen that one before. Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. If it's your first turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand. Oh, so if on the first turn, if we use this card, we can draw till we have eight cards in our hand? That gives us one extra card. Isn't that pretty cool? Uh -huh. Okay, what's the last one for our card? What's this reserve ticket do right here? What does that do? Why don't you tell Flip me? Flip a coin. If heads, search your deck for a card. Shuffle your deck, then put that card on top of it. Wow, so basically you can search the whole deck. Yes. And then shuffle the rest of your cards and then put, you know, a card off of it or that card on top. So what what would you use that for? What would you use this card for? Um, If there was an EX that was on the very bottom. Well, let's say you were looking for your Hoopa, the one that actually makes it so you can get all three of your other yeah. EXs. You would use it for that? Yes. Okay. What's the next type of trainer card we're going to talk about? Stall cards. Stall cards. What do these cards do, generally? 
make your opponent not get your good card. Exactly. They change your opponent's hand. Such as the most noticeable one is going to be the red card. What does the red card do? You like using this you one in your other deck. You get to shuffle your hand. No. Your, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws four cards. Yeah, he likes using that one on yes, me, don't I you? I do. <laughs> What's the next stall it's card? Perfect. We're going to talk about Captivating Pokepuff. What does that do? Your opponent reveals his or her hand. Put any number of basic Pokemon you find there onto your opponent's bench. So basically, you can use that to put all his basic Pokemon on the bench, huh? Okay, what about the team skull? Run. What does that do? Your opponent reveals their hand, discard two energy cards from, you, from it. So all these stall cards, it seems, all they do is make your opponent, what, what do they do? They make your opponent not get their good cards in time. <laughs> That's right, they do. But watch out using them because sometimes what happens? I do get my good cards, huh? Okay, what's the next type of cards we're going to talk Energy about? Energy getters. Energy getters is what he and calls them. And switchers. And switchers. Well, we're going to talk about switchers next, aren't we? No. Okay, so the energy getters. The professor's letter is a great card for what? Hey, switcher, switcher, switcher. That's a switcher. Yeah. Okay, what is a what does a professor's letter do for us? You can get two energy from your deck, and the um energy retrieval. You get two energy from your discard pile. They still get you the same amount of energy. Okay, and what's the next one we're going to talk about? The last one. Switches. Um, there's an energy switch and there's a Pokemon switch. So basically with the energy switch, what can I do? Switch your energy. From one Pokemon to the next? Yeah, if you're having a bad time with that Pokemon, you can switch the energy to a better Pokemon Ooh. that takes a little bit of energy. Okay, and what about the trainer switch? What does that do? Um, it allows you to switch a Pokemon. From where? From your bench to your active. Does that happen? Do you have to use a retreat cost no. to do that? No? Okay, that's cool. If you want that card. Well, this is what we found with our deck. And we've basically done everything we can do. Uh, those are, we have 15 Pokemon, 17 energy, and 28 trainers. Why do we have so many trainers at Houndoom? They're our engine. They're your engine? What does that mean? That means they help us get cards. They help us get cards. They help us make the... Destroy uh, our opponent. Destroy our opponent. Okay. Well, I think that's all. If you have any questions about building a deck or how to build a deck or how we built our deck, please just put in the uh, comments section and we'll try to answer any questions that we get. We thank you guys for watching our channel and please subscribe. Yeah.